Hi, this is Divashish from Circuit Digest once again back with another video and in this video we'll be showing you how to enable PWM functionality on your STM 8S F103 microcontroller. So without further ado, let's get started. So as you can see, I have the microcontroller and the hardware set up uh, in front of me. As you can see, the circuit is very simple. I have attached a generic 3mm LED on pin d4 of this board which is uh, the last pin of the board if you if i zoom in a little bit you can see the led the brightness of the led is getting brighter and it's getting dimmer over time so you can see that if you wait a little bit you can as you can see the brightness of the led is changing so before we proceed any further we have to know about the pwm pins now if you look at the pin diagram of the or the pin setup of the board as you can see i have marked the pwm pins which uh, we can program which are capable of generating pwm signals at the output so i've marked those pins for simplicity and if we look at the actual pin diagram of this board so you can see that this pin this pin PA3 the pin PC3 PC4 PC5 PC6 PC7 and PD3 and PD4 these all eight pins are capable of generating PWM as you can also see some of uh, the pins are under timer 2 or and some of the pins are under timer 1 so depending upon the uh, timer uh, depending upon the pin uh, we have to set up the timer uh, that's how we set up the capture and compare mechanism on these pins so i am using pin pd4 so i have to set up timer 2 for that so let me just go through the code very quickly if you don't know how to use the st visual desktop or the cosmic c compiler so it's highly recommended to uh, check out our getting started guide for the st visual develop and cosmic c compiler so now just look into this uh, pwm code uh, so as you can see uh, you for the code to work you need to include this libraries and this header files so you need to include the stm uh, 8s dot h stm 8s gpio and stm 8s trimer 2 dot h header files from the st uh, library supported libraries and also so need to include all the associated c files uh, for these uh, uh, header files so let's start the code for the first code you need to in just include the stm8 s.h header file that will include all the things that are that are needed so next we need to uh, assign an integer uh, which we'll name pwm duty so we uh, through which we will we will track the duty cycle of the pwm now uh, the cosmic c compiler doesn't offer a built-in dealer function so for that reason we have made our own generic delay function so it's nothing but two for loops uh, running inside uh, ASM knob function. So this knob operation takes a only uh, a single clock cycle. So with that we can calculate the actual uh, delay for the microcontroller since we know the microcontroller running uh, is at 2 uh, megahertz. So in the main loop uh, we deinit uh, the GPIO and deinit the timer. Then we initialize the GPIO with the init function. Then we init the timer 2. Then we uh, initialize the prescaler which is required. Uh, uh, if uh, the we don't do a prescaler the uh, PWM frequency would be much higher so we need a prescaler then after that we enable the timer next we got our infinite loop in the infinite loop we have two uh, for uh, for loops these for loops are responsible for generating the output PWM signal in the first for loop we uh, count from 0 to 10,000 and we increment uh, uh, the DT cycle by 2 then we enter this PWM value uh, in this set compare function 
this is a built in function which you can find uh, in the st manual and we set the duty cycle for that and we uh, make a small delay of 10 milliseconds this is important because otherwise the pwn signal will not be very much accurate without this delay so uh, for the next loop we do the same thing but we decrement the value by 2 this will reduce the pwm signal or the duty cycle of the pwm signal will change and we again uh, uh, put that pwm value with the set compare function and we do a delay of 10 milliseconds again so this is this small code will enable you to generate pwm signal and if you want to uh, do it with a so this this is uh, <clears throat> so this was it for the video and i hope you liked and enjoy it if you want and this was it for the video so if you have any questions regarding this please do post a comment down below we'll get in touch with you as soon as possible